quit my job at the helium factory today. I refuse to be spoken to in that tone of voice. <laughs> oh, for that, no, don't forget, comment your dad jokes down below. Right, so hello again, everybody, and welcome back. I finally got the new Amazon Fire TV Stick feature that can now uninstall apps from your device automatically. So this is definitely something to know about what to do and also, if you've had an issue where you found that apps have just disappeared, this is what could be causing it. So let's take a look now. So that being said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let's crack on. Now, I've done the Amazon update on a few different devices and I've only got this feature on two of the devices at the moment. So let me know in the comment section down below, have you got this new offload feature on your fire stick but quickly this is what it is and it says what's new on fire tv so auto offload is a feature to optimize device storage which comes to fire tv if your device is low on storage space auto offload will partially remove some apps that haven't been used on the device in the last 60 days without deleting your login credentials when you want to use an offloaded app later the app will be reinstalled for you and your login credentials for that app will be restored just as if it had never been removed. And then it tells you where you can find it. So I can click on continue. I could check for updates again. And we are fully up to date on this device. This is the older Fire TV Stick 4K Max. Now I don't like this feature for a couple of reasons. One of them is because if you don't know it's there... You might just find that one day you go to use an app on your Fire Stick and it's not there and you're thinking, well, where's that gone? So that's one of them. Another one is, it's saving storage space by removing apps, keeping the login credentials, but what if it removes a lot of apps and you can't remember what apps it removed? Or you no longer wanted that app on your device, it's still storing data for an app that you might never use again. Now, at the moment, I've not found a list where you can find all the apps that have been offloaded on a device. But I just think it's a bit of an intrusive feature. Now, what we can do is go across to Settings, and then we go down to Applications. It says you can also find it on My Fire TV, but on Applications, you can see now we've got an option for Automatic Offload. And this is currently turned on. And then next to it, Automatically Offload Unused Apps when your Fire TV is low on storage space, an update will be saved. I want to turn that off because I know what apps I use, I know what apps I like. Now, another one of my biggest gripes with this is, if I turn it back on and I go into Manage Installed Applications, at the top here you've got a little filter and we can sort it by app recency. So this should show you the apps that you use frequently over the apps that you don't. Now... Amazon Photos and Silk Browser says never used. I'm not sure how much time this is over because there are apps in never used, which I have used before. But if Silk Browser, as you can see above my head here, the app size is 182 megabyte. So that's the file size. So if I click on Silk Browser, there's no option to offload that i can uninstall it on this device on my cube it doesn't even give me the option for that but amazon photos another amazon app app size 40 megabyte click on that no option to uninstall no option to offload so if i go to this app which i actually use it does say never used but i do use this quite often click on that this has the option to offload. Now we've got a third party app here that I've downloaded through, downloaded from a website, Tubi TV. Click on that, go down, I've got the option to uninstall. There's actually no option to offload. So it all just seems a little bit like here, there and everywhere. It's like a nice little um, poem there for you, isn't it? <laughs> but it's like some apps you can auto offload, some apps don't give you that option. Some apps don't even give you the option to uninstall. That's one of the things a lot of people, including myself, hates when Amazon don't give you the option to uninstall stuff that you're never going to use, which is taking up the storage space, which brings the feature in of auto-offload that Amazon feel is needed. I just think you should have more freedom on a device that you've purchased. But I do suppose one of the positives we can take from this is I only looked at one third-party app there, but it didn't say auto offload so hopefully any third party apps you've got installed which are going to be the ones you use mostly 
aren't going to be affected by this. Like I said, to turn it off, we're going to go across to settings, down applications, automatic offload, turn that off. You've got manage installed apps there and next to it you can see the internal space. So this two gigabyte of 5.3 gigabyte available so plenty of storage there free the other thing you can do is go down to my fire tv click on where it says about go down to where it says storage and when you click on that you also get the option there so i do kind of like that amazon have given you the option to turn it off but let me know your thoughts and opinions on this in the comments section down below. Do you think this is going to be a useful feature or do you think it's one of those where Amazon is just finding things to add for the sake of it? Me personally, I think that's an absolutely dog shit addition. But obviously, that's just my opinion. And like I said, let me know in the comments section down below. Have you got this on your fire stick? Sorry, I'm not sure. I didn't ask you now. Another Amazon one being intrusive, isn't it? <laughs> like I said as well, let me know in the comment section down below. Have you got this offload feature on your Fire Stick? And it's one of those videos letting you know about it, letting you know about the new update, and also letting you know if apps are disappearing, this might be why. Right, so that being said, I hope you enjoyed the rest of your day. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. And I'll see you soon. Ta-da!